an addiction. I'm talking about it. It just was not exciting to me. Have a good day. another vlog this week is going to be a really nice week a very healthy and productive week as y'all saw yes I did two workouts this morning but that is not normal so don't freak out I just really wanted to take from two teachers and I had energy and whatever I had a fabulous morning I started reading this morning the gap and the gain or the gain and the gap really good especially if you're like an overachiever I'm gonna go into that more on the podcast this week and then uh, last night, actually, I started reading Fourth Wing, which I didn't think I would like. So many of y'all have been like, just please read it. It's so good. Because, sorry, I don't like Akatara. I, I, okay, here's the thing. I only read one of the books, and everyone's like, oh, it gets really good, like, midway through the second. And, like, I just don't, like, maybe, like, the fall and winter when I'm wanting to, like, cozy up with, like, a fantasy, even though, like, I'm not really a fantasy reader now. I was, like, growing up. Um, just, like, having to read a book and a half to get into a series like just doesn't sound fun to me anyways I started the fourth wing and I'm actually pleasantly surprised I'm really liking it so far anyways I'm getting back into my routine I'm gonna share my goals for the week okay guys goals for the week 10,000 steps a day cooking everything from home which is mainly because I like really enjoy the act and it makes me a better person because it calms me down 10,000 steps a day I really want to organize a bathroom which I'm dreading so much and now that I said that I want to edit it out um and then i have some other things that i can't say yet but it's gonna be a really good week at home i'm working on having a really good routine sometimes when i have these like early morning routines i will put like too much pressure on myself and then like it'll make me anxious because i'm like it's like a hustle culture like mindset but what i've realized is that i am looking for peace at all points in my life i want calm I want peace, I want zen, and I get that when I have an early morning because you have more time, like, obviously. So I'm trying to just, like, live my life in a way that, like, feels good to me, if that makes any sense, versus a way that, like, I feel like I need to live it for, like, other people, you know? So, anyways, I'm doing the artist way again. I have a lot of updates for you guys, apparently. I didn't vlog for one day, and now I have all these updates. I decided to bring back the artist way, so one solo day a week and then i'm gonna do like morning pages every single day and then you read the book along with it i actually never finished it the first time i did it i only did like six weeks so i've never actually fully done it but it's a really good thing to do i don't like i mean yeah sure it's about creativity and whatever i feel like it's more about like getting to know yourself and like getting unstuck and getting out of a funk and i feel like i've been kind of feeling that way a little bit recently i feel better now but I want to do it now to like get ahead of it you know anyways i'm taking coco to physical therapy she's making some very positive moves she's back this is her first one back in a couple weeks um and i'm excited like she's moving her legs so progress will be made <laughs> hey y'all just finished recording a podcast episode um, this one will be up this coming week. I just posted one as you guys are watching this on my like Dallas and Fort Worth favorites So if y'all are ever coming to visit or if you live here or if you're moving here or you just like want Dallas Fort Worth Rex for whatever reason Please go listen to that podcast episode or you can just go to the show notes in the description It has everything like labeled but and I also like added some more stuff when I was talking in the podcast episode but all of it will be there and then today I recorded an episode about my life as a 25 year old overachiever who wants to live like a retiree lifestyle. It's basically breadwinning housewife now that I'm like thinking about it, but more so the like stress and anxiety and pressure that I put on myself to like do everything, but then like wanting to like learn how to do all that while coming from like a better place, you know? And I talk about the book that I started this morning, The Gap and the Gain. It is so good. I'm not gonna repeat it because the lesson that I learned this morning was very good. It's in the podcast. Anyways new little jewelry haul i got these all from revolve i've been wanting to like up my jewelry game i feel like i just like didn't have good jewelry i lost it all i don't know where i went so i put in an order i will link all of this i showed these in the podcast interview so cute like i am obsessed i'm not gonna wear them um 
out today. I'm actually about to head out of the house for a meeting. We recorded that all and sent in in like two hours, so pretty quick. Normally, it just like takes longer than that. I mean, it was a solo episode, so I had to like prep, but like still. I mean, actually, yeah, I do. I prep really just much more solos than I do for myself. I feel like I'm just like not great at solo episodes. I forget to breathe. I feel like I'm like overdoing it, but like I think the camera is stressing me out, but I need the video. But like, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. I, like sometimes I'm on one, I'm like, that was good. And I feel like that was today. I actually do think it was a really good episode, but I just like get in my head about it, you know? Anyways, these are the other ones and they're just like these chunky gold hoops. So if y'all are someone who's always wanted the Jennifer Fisher earrings, but like not the price, these are definitely a better price. They're still pricey. They're not like Amazon prices by any means, um, but they're still like nicer jewelry and they just like look better. They're cute. And then this necklace was on sale um, and I've just been wanting like heart earrings like that. Like those are so cute. I just like cannot get over it. We're heading off to a meeting and then I'm coming home. Janine's coming over for dinner tonight actually. So I need to like get to that when I get back. I also have to get my 10,000 steps in. I thought, I forgot this inter this meeting was in person cause I was like fully gonna like do my treadmill steps during it. So I have to figure that out. Um, I read more of the fourth wing while Coco was at her appointment and I'm like loving the book. I can't believe it. And I'm only like 15% of the way in. Anyways, I'm off to a meeting actually at North Park at Italy. Um, I'm wearing a sweater, I know. But say it with me, kids. Dress for the weather you want, not the weather you have. Also, I'm just gonna like throw it on because I'm always cold in the wall. But this top is a year of ours. It's like a year of ours brown tank top, and I have like a like a bralette on from Skims that's like so noticeable, so whatever. These pants are Amazon. They're amazing. They're like men's pants. I bought them forever ago because Peyton Sarton posted them and I have them in so many different colors. They're just really easy to wear. I just have these belly flats on from Sam Adamant. I also got really cute ones that I ordered. I'm waiting to come in from Mango. Um, if you guys listened to the podcast episode with Marissa, I said we're like really impulsive. Like she'll text me a link and like I will purchase it 30 seconds later. And that's literally what happened with those Thanks. I don't love the sweater. I don't like any of this, but like I, I had to get ready really quickly. So that's it. I feel like my hair just looks weird. Like whatever, who cares? All right guys, I'm making dinner. I'm back home. Janine's coming over soon. I'm making us these salmon bowls. I'm doing mini sweet peppers, cucumber, cilantro, lime. I got this gingery miso sauce, which I saw on a butcher box and I wanted to order it yesterday to make this. And then I saw it was at Sprouts. So I got it. I'll let you guys know. I'm, um, the rice is back there. The salmon is prepped and ready to go in the air fryer. Listening to a podcast. I'm obviously drinking my Olipop. I'm having a really fabulous day. Tomorrow, my grandma is coming. My guy, as you guys know, she's a vlog favorite. So I'm taking her to this restaurant that invited me in. Um, and we're having a sleepover. And then we'll probably just like do some stuff. I, I need to plan out my garden. Because I'm gonna ask for garden beds for my birthday. And it's like really hard to find things to like ask for for your birthday as you get older, I feel like. And then I never have anything to ask for. And my family's just very big on like, you have to ask for something. So I'm gonna do the garden beds and we're gonna do a new garden back there. I've also very seriously been thinking about building a pool, like a small pool. I obviously don't have a huge yard and just like making my backyard, like utilizing it to the best of its ability. I feel like everything looks so much smaller until you put things in it. So thinking about doing that, um, but yeah, I just love my evenings where I'm cooking and I'm in the kitchen and it just, like honestly, it's the best part about life. It really is. guys wearing head to toe skims no one is surprised this is so good i'm about to get on a call i'm working from home for the next couple of hours just gonna do a bunch of like computer work edit whatever gonna make my favorite breakfast the bacon sauerkraut we're bringing it back also this stuff is just like so unflattering because it's just so like big who cares you know i'm home <laughs> 
You know what? Actually, I care. Now that I'm thinking about it. Not right now. Oh, guys, I got, oh my god, I'm so excited. So, I got two things in the mail that I am, like, so pumped about. These shoes, unbelievable. They maybe aren't for everyone, but they're for me, okay? They're these ballet flats, and they're from Mango. Marissa sent them to me. If you all listen to our episode, you know that, like, she sends me a link, and it's purchased in 30 seconds. Um, we also just planned our LA trip while the Nashville girls are going to Los Angeles for something very exciting coming very soon. Hint, hint. Anyways, love these. And then also, I have been trying to up my jewelry game as you guys saw yesterday. And I also ordered this necklace. It was only like $30 from an Etsy shop. Um, Keaton linked it and I bought it immediately. And I really copied her because it's okay as well. But, like, look at how cute it is. I just want, like, cute everyday jewelry. So, anyways, um, lots of work. My grandma's coming over this afternoon. We're having a sleepover. I get on this call in one minute and then chat later. I'm so comfortable. Like, the Skims boyfriend t-shirts, unbelievable. Like, I have it in a long sleeve and then I also have it in a short sleeve. I just, like, everything oversized though, so I always get, like, really big ones. Or just, like, bigger for, on me, whatever. Okay, this looks gross. And it looks actually way more burnt than it is because of the bacon. But I made my sauerkraut bacon breakfast and I burned it a little more than I normally do, but I like it really burnt. I made a TikTok on this. It looks disgusting. Like you can't even see what's in here. It's a really good, healthy breakfast. It looks gross, tastes amazing. I'm gonna be in here working for the next couple of hours. So we will regroup then. I'm gonna need a second coffee. Soul Cycle was amazing this morning. Fitch just films a little brand deal with me, so he's very tired. He always looks sad. Like do any of your dogs have like droopy faces or droopy eyes? Like he just naturally looks sad, but he's the happiest dog, you know? Hi guys, I'm back with Myga, the vlog's favorite. Um, we're on our way to the French room at the Adolphus to get some dinner. See, one thing about me is I love an early dinner. And I would have picked a 5 p.m. dinner reservation, even had you not, you know, wanted a 5 p.m. dinner rest. So it's really perfect. We've been here once before. I love the Adolphus in general. It's so cute. And then we also normally do high tea. We were literally just talking about tea, but um, uh, the Adolphus for Christmas, which is also the French room. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. We, oh wow. I have a new skirt on from Princess Polly. I'll show you guys a haul later. I just ordered like more skirts and dresses because it, yesterday was 109, especially 109 today. That is so hot so early for Texas, so I'm really miserable. But Maya and I were running some errands. I'm throwing her birthday lunch soon, so we need to get things for that. We need to, what else are we doing? I don't even remember. We're going through my garage and we're gonna organize it. Potential garden, which I am gonna build a garden. We need to go through that. We're gonna get a lunch, do some things. Yeah, but I slept like barely at all yesterday. I'm wearing a Skims tank. These are my favorite tank tops. This skirt from Princess Polly. And then I have these ballet flats from Mango that I, again, am obsessed with. Oh, if we could, oh, we're gonna go to a fabric store too because I wanna make Tabletop stuff. If we can stop by, if we pass a Home Depot, I wanna go by Home Depot to get another pot for my flowers. All right, so we're gonna go through. The garage is so horrible from the move. I still haven't gone through and organized it, and I have two attics. It's not as bad as it was. I have some ideas. But, okay, also, that is like so funny. It was a birthday present. See, it's not that horrible. All these pictures. I suggest we hang them on this, this wall here. So yeah, maybe. Gallery. Yeah. Then, if you want to use one somewhere, you just take Do it, it somewhere else. But I'm using the floor out of the way. I'm using this room. It's gonna be an entire hosting closet. So like all of my like extra dishes. See this is what I mean. So like I don't need more dishes depending on your birthday, lunch I know. Look um oh. amount people mm -hmm. and then i have more of these flower floral ones i do have like these candle things but i can get other ones in our french country mm -hmm. that's the theme and then i just have way too much okay so i don't know if i said this yet but i am gonna be hopefully putting in a pool at some point just because i cannot survive these summers without one but back here is where i'm gonna do my garden i'm on backyard garden tiktok okay 
and they've made really beautiful gardens. So I think I want to get like three or four raised beds. It's nice because there's not grass over here anyways. Yes. So it's not going to kill the grass. And there's also already these steps. They're so thoughtful. The one thing is that I wish that I could see it from, like these are my living room. Right. Um, things I wish I could see from the kitchen where my like basil stuff is. But I think just like, Fitz, are you digging things up? Yeah, I think just like two or three. Yeah. Or four or five even. Fitz, big raised beds. Start with two and then keep adding. Yeah, keep going from there. That's what I'm gonna ask for for my birthday. I want to get the blue set or the pink. Yeah. It's white with gold. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay. This is perfect. A 94 piece set for 250 for all of this. I'm getting it. Okay. Guys, we have accidentally had the best morning thrifting. We first went to Second Treasures, mm -hmm. which is in East Dallas. I just happened to find it like I was searching for thrift stores and it turns out I don't even know if I can exit this way, but I'm gonna try. There's not an exit? No. Love that. Um, so we walked in and the woman working was so nice and just cool. And, and it's all donations. It's all donations. It's a nonprofit that benefits, I took a photo so I can say it on the TikTok. It benefits, I don't know if it's a certain dog shelter or basically rescue dogs. Um, it's so cool. It's all orange on the outside. It was just like fun, like funky. I got really great barware and then just like some random home stuff. You know what they had in the back with the garden they had? I'm not like someone who like loves when you have a bunch of like stuff in your yard. Like that's not really our family's vibe, but they had a cute little dog that looked like Coco that was actually cute. And I'm like, you know, I might, those How are cute. pretty pricey, but maybe when they're doing their like 20% off sale, I'll go back. Um, anyways. Then, this place we weren't yeah. gonna go into it because it looked icky. And the, it's just this thrift shop. And I saw like knocker reviews online and then she, my, my goodest one is going because she's looking for quilts to make some jackets for you guys if you want to buy, or for anyone if you want to buy them, but, um, I'm like losing my train of thought. Oh, we walked in and it has the best barware, serveware, tabletop, like selection I've ever China. seen China anywhere. I just got a 96 piece set for $250, which is like such a steal. Service for 18. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's what I need because I really, my issue with dinner parties is that like I invite too many people. <laughs> so anyways, really exciting. And those are just like, just like thrift stores, the people just like sending in donations or whatever. But yeah, if you guys are in Dallas and you're looking, okay, like everything in East Dallas is so much cuter. Everything is cooler. Random, look at that little bistro. Like everything is cooler. Anyways, we're going to try out a new restaurant. It's like right on the lake. Ooh. It's just like down the street, but we're having a great day. It's only 11 a.m. and I've, I've done so many productive things. Okay, we're, it actually feels good outside. Hi. It's really cute. Smoky Rose, White Rock Lake. I'm an idiot. There's a whole restaurant on the inside, but the patio's cute. Where is he taking my car? Just to another spot? It's so cute. Because I'm obsessed with this place. It's so cozy. The lake is right there. Like I love. Oh, you're good. Go ahead. Y'all, I have never done better on a shopping day, period. So all of this stuff is what I got from the thrift shop next to um, the first one that we went to. So got this entire, this is the set I was talking about, like 18 person, 96 piece set. And then I also got these glasses that I just thought we're so cute and they're matching something that's coming soon. So anyways, I mean like so much stuff. It's just perfect. It's so nice when you find something like this at a good deal because it's something that I will literally have forever and just use forever. And then over here, I'm gonna go to the other side. Over here, I got these candle sticks. Um, Myga wants to do like a French. Oh my God, what is that? What? That book. Okay. Whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah, she wants like a French. 
I'm forgetting the word for it. We said it earlier, theme. So I needed some candlesticks and this table is where we're gonna do it. I got a lot of barware. It's always just nice to have glasses and also I went a little crazy in this store because it's benefiting homeless animals in Dallas. So I was like, sure, I will buy anything. But also I just like love barware and this is perfect. You can just never like, I know this seems really excessive and it is, but <laughs> everything that I do is excessive, but this stuff actually comes in handy so much. And when I end up going through my hosting closet and have everything organized, it's gonna be amazing. So these cute glasses, I grew up with like roosters all over our house. Like that was that era where like roosters, were, literally, honestly, a rooster back in the day, it was equivalent, is equivalent to these like boucle, boucle, whatever, boucle chairs. Now, like these, like the roosters were the shit. That's like all you had. So anyways, I always just get stuff that I see because it's very nostalgic. Reminds me of like growing up and it's cute. Um, I got these cute little like napkin holders. That's one thing I don't have much of are these little napkin holders. Oh, some of this stuff, by the way, uh, some of it's donation, and then others are from like the market, so like that stuff I'm sure is market, this stuff I'm sure is market, but the rest of it is donations. Um, and then I got these cute little, I just love little colorful kitchen things that just are so fun, these candles. And yeah, I am obsessed. Oh, I also got those bowls, I forgot to mention that. So this was from, the thrift store, um, to the left of the, why am I forgetting the names? You guys know, I've already said it, and then this was from the first store. So I was already so happy about what I got there, and then I went to the next place, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Time for us to do a little bit of a haul again after that one. I feel like I either have nothing new or I have like 17 boxes, but I did put in order, like I said, I mentioned already, it fits. Dude. No, no, out of the way. I made an, I placed an order on Princess Polly. This skirt, I've already shown it to you guys, but I'll show it again. It's number one. It is the best thing ever. I don't love wearing shorts in the summer. I don't like how they look that much. They're not my favorite thing. I don't feel super comfortable or confident. Maxi skirts, I don't know why I didn't think about it before. I don't know. So anyways, this is the best thing. Also, way less hot because there's just one band that, that touches you. The rest, you're like fine. This dress. It's just like so cute. I also got this maxi skirt. And I got, I've already done an order of maxi skirts from Princess Polly, but I just got more because I keep wearing them. The one thing I will say is my band messes up, but like, honestly, I love it, I don't care. This one's a little bit tighter, but cute. Blank NYC sent me some jackets because these are gonna be a part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So keep that in mind. I was such a Nordstrom anniversary sale shopper growing up. That was like what I did every single year for my birthday because my birthday's August 1st. And I was just obsessed. It was my favorite time of year, back to school shopping. Oh my God, I loved. So anyways, I got this really cute little leather jacket. And then I got the exact same jacket, but in brown, just classics to have in your closet. And then my favorite is this one. It's a little bit more fun, has a little more to it. So very cute, I'll be linking these and stuff. I'll link them now, but just keep in mind that they're gonna go on sale. I also had to replace my always pan from our place just because I hadn't taken great care of it and I've used it literally every day, pretty much since I got it. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like a new version anyways. I've actually never used the steamer part of this pan, but I use this pan religiously. I had it in pink because you guys have seen in so many videos. That one, we're retiring and we're gonna do this, okay? So, love this pan so much. And then I also have the pot from them. And I have an entire like pots and pan set that I was gifted when I moved in that I really wanted and I picked it out myself. And then um, our place sent this, I think, like two or three years ago maybe. I actually don't remember, maybe I did buy it. I think it was set. Um, and I literally only used the pan, and then I started, I was like, oh, I need to buy the pot, and now I literally only use this pot and that pan. I should maybe get the, like, other ones. I love them. I also picked up, it comes with this, too, and it has a little thing to stick on there. Our place is just, like, one of my favorite brands. It's my favorite kitchen brand, for sure. Then I got a cutting board, because my cutting board needs to be replaced. Let's just say that, you know? So, anyways, stunning, beautiful, also really good price if I'm thinking, if I'm remembering correctly, and I really liked it. 
last thing I will show you guys, I got a package from Sperry for the summer I turned pretty. And it looks so cute. It's our little collab. So let's just, the summer I turned pretty. Aww. The shoes are just like so cute. And then there's like a Sperry water bottle. There's some Summer Friday stuff. Like it's just so cool. Really actually been wanting to try that, so that's exciting. And then one of my favorite lip balms. And at last thing, I got some stuff from YSL Beauty. They also sent me all of these last night. I'm really excited to try these out, so I'll keep you guys posted. I feel like this is my, might end up being too light when I'm tan, but look. I just cleaned so much in this house. I feel so much better. Like there was a lot of clutter, some things that needed to get handled, lots of packages. I just showered and I'm wearing my Skims boyfriend shirt. This is the softest shirt I've ever worn in my entire life. Happy Thursday. I am on my way to Pilates. It is 5.45 in the morning. Can you believe it, guys? I'm just keeping up with it. I finally got a good night's sleep. When my alarm went off, I was so confused. And then I remembered I had a 6 a.m. workout. So we're here. It's actually my 100th class, which is very exciting. I'm honestly surprised that it's not more than that. And I actually have already hit it because when I worked out there before, I had a different account with a different email that had some classes on it. But like, this is my first one on this account, and I am excited. I didn't make coffee because. I didn't think I needed it when I was getting ready and now I'm like I should have made a coffee that's really gonna be tough by the way my actual favorite well, my favorite two are Rachel S and Thomasina I love Thomasina I just never get to take her classes normally because she was doing like 6 a.m. and like 2 p.m. on a Sunday or something them saying this if you guys are in Dallas speaking of um Dallas okay. This is gonna be rough. My Dallas Fort Worth guy. Why didn't I just bring a coffee for the road? Anyways, my Dallas Fort Worth guide podcast is out now. So if y'all live in Dallas or you're visiting or you're moving or you're thinking about moving or whatever, listen to that podcast. I'm such a good morning i'm so glad i went to my workout class because i really did think about quitting not quitting canceling it um i did go to the wrong studio so i had a different teacher but i took from adam this morning i love adam too um i feel like i always forget to say that but he just teaches at times that like i normally don't take anyways i just made the best breakfast ever it looks disgusting it's the bacon sauerkraut Breakfast, it's literally just bacon and sauerkraut. I'm supposed to use, I used to use coconut oil to cook it. I should probably get back to that. I just used a cast iron. Um, it's so good. It looks gross, but it's really good. I showered, I'm in very comfortable clothes to work from home today. I have my robe on. I have sweats on underneath this, I don't need to be wearing a robe. But this kitsch, like hair towel thing, it's so much better than the ones that I have from Amazon and actually like holds all my hair because it's bigger and it just is better. I try to wash my hair once to twice a week. I'm at twice a week right now when I do it myself. Um, or I'll do it like every like five or six days, I would say. Anyways, I use the Glimmer Hair Mask, which I love. I got that from Kate Davis. And then I use the Wella hair oil and I just like spray it all on my hair. And then I just have it sit in the towel, the microfiber towel. And it's just fabulous. So working, working, working. Um, I'm gonna actually, that's not true, I'm not working yet. I'm going to keep reading my The Gain and the Gap book that I love so much. And we're doing a little recap on that because I need to talk about it because it really has just made such an impact on me. Update on reading last night, I read 5%. Like I just, it's not that I don't like the book, it's just hard for me to get through it because it's so long. And I just, 
I've got to just like sit down tonight at like five and start reading, you know? I'm gonna be cooking today too. Um, really simple meals, like salmon, and chicken, and vegetables, you know? Something I pride myself on is always having the best playlist for my house. In the morning, it's breakfast in the Nancy Myers kitchen. I also have the Coastal Grandma one. These aren't mine, by the way. These are not my podcast, they're just like the ones, or not my podcast, the playlist, they're just the ones that I listen to. Um, I like this one, Coastal Cowgirl. Any Nancy Myers one, really, and then I have some that's like, mature cooking, like funny, like stupid stuff that I made when I was like a couple years ago. So anyways, it's so good. I played on my TV. But, like you literally cannot be in a bad mood or you literally cannot be in a good mood. No, you literally cannot be in a bad mood. Okay. He has no interest in giving me my thoughts. Oh, 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 oh. Just decided I'm done with work for the day. I was in a really productive mood. Like, you know, when you just like zoom through things and get like so much done, but then you kind of have like a headache after. That is how I feel. And I would like to get some reading done. I really, really would. Jessica was here shipping out some packages. Our bags are available. Get them now, guys. Seriously, don't keep waiting or don't wait if you're planning on it. We're very, very low on the beige stock. And then we're getting low on pink and floral. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Friday. It is 6.16 and I'm on my way to my workout. I really don't know what got into me. But now I wake up and it just feels normal. And I haven't even been doing it that long. I think it's helpful that it's like sunny out. Well, it's not sunny, but it's not dark out. Like it's just fabulous. Anyways, I'm going to wait left. There is nothing like a 7 a.m. trip to Sprouts. Sorry, this lighting is so bad, but I just love my friends at Sprouts. I've made friends with the cashiers, giving them my Pilates codes. Like, we're just besties there. I love going in there. Like, I'm not kidding. The second I walk into Sprouts, like, my body, like, relaxes. Like, it just puts me in such a good mood. Wow. I'm, like, talking to the girlies. I have, like, a whole friend circle there. No, I'm kidding. Kind of. Um, but yeah, I just I had a, such a good morning. It's 7.45, I'm heading home. It is just, like I'm telling you, these, these early mornings are changing my life. They really are. chilly in this room not in texas unfortunately but i just had some meetings i was getting some work done i'm just so excited about just what i have coming out in the next couple of months it's gonna be so good i've also been working on the podcast rebrand as of right now it is kinsey's house okay we're doing a trailer i have a new cover coming and then i'm working on like a bunch a couple other things with it so it's like all my assets and stuff i'm really excited Anyways, I'm going on a solo date. I will be grabbing a sweater because I'm going to the movie theater. It is like 11 a.m. Is that a matinee? Because that's very me. Uh, the things that I like in life, it's not even like, it, it's just like a, a geriatric life. Like that's, I went to, so, uh, so, like that's what I like, you know, old people things. So anyways, I'm outfit repeating, of course. Um, this is my summer uniform besides like the long sleeve, but it's because I was cold in my house and I'm gonna be cold at the movie theater. 
And then when I get back, Jenna Page and I are recording. Um, if you guys grew up in Dallas, Jenna from Kiss FM. But also she owns Finish, which is one of my favorite like skincare brands. It's the stuff I'm always spraying on my face. She just gives amazing advice and like every time she's just like a cool person. So I'm gonna do a navigating your 20s episode with her. And I am excited. Um, anyways, I'm doing the artist way, which is a 12 week program. I started it last fall. I didn't finish it, but I feel like it just kind of became a way of life. But this time I want to finish it and you read one chapter a week of the book from Julia Cameron. You do morning pages every single morning. If you guys have ever done morning pages or heard me talk about it, it they actually come from the artist way where you just like write every morning for three pages long. That's what I'm always doing in that room. And then you take yourself on one solo date a, a week. The idea is like just like uncovering your creative self. So if you're creative and you're in a rut, it helps with that. But also it just like helps you get to know yourself. Like I feel like the book is like not marketed as well as it should be. Like it's just the best thing ever. So I'm going to the movies in the middle of my work day. Um, and I'm, but it's okay because I'm staying in tonight and I'll, I'll work tonight. So we're fine. All right, guys, I just saw no hard feelings with Jennifer Lawrence. It was really good. At times I like felt weird about it, but it was good. Recording time. Hi guys. Wait, seriously? Dude, okay, watch out, bub. Go somewhere else. Anywhere but here. Literally anywhere in this entire house but there. Okay, all right, it's me and Fitz, guys. So it's Friday evening, Jenna and Jenna Page and I recorded, if you guys listened to Kiss FM, you definitely know Jenna and she owns Finish, which is the brand of that toned down spray I always talk about that I love, that I use post-workout. It's so good. It's like CBD calming skincare. It's just like incredible. I like their body wash a lot too. Anyways, big fan of the brand, but also I just like, love Jenna and we did a whole episode on like navigating your 20s. Feel like I've just been kind of off on my interview game lately. I'm like really in my head about the podcast. Just feeling like I'm like not good at it anymore. And I think it's like going from a studio to like in my house. It just like feels, dude, seriously. Let's just chill for a second, okay? I don't know. It's just like I feel like I'm in a different zone when I'm here. And I'm trying to like get back into like the swing of interviews. And I'm like just, I don't know. Anyways, um, great episode. You guys would really enjoy it. But I did want to talk about that book, The Gap and the Gain, that I've been reading because I know he loves the finished skincare that's on me right now. And it primarily pure. <sighs> okay, seriously, you've got to go. But seriously, I'm sorry, Fitz. Maybe lay down. Maybe you want to lay down. All right. So, is The Gap and the Gain by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. And it says, The High Achiever's Guide to Happiness, Confidence, and Success. I am so glad I got this book. It is literally changing my life. I'm halfway through. I've taken so many, like, highlights on here. I mean, like, literally everything is highlighted. It is unbelievable. So, basically, it talks about living in the gain and not the gap. And if you are like me and you are, like, a high achiever... Or even if you're not, I feel like this just applies to everyone. So it's like, think about this, start and then achieve and then ideal, okay? So you start and then you achieve, but there's always that ideal. That's always like the next thing that you wanna do or whatever you're comparing yourself to, or there's always someone who's bigger, there's someone who's better or whatever, right? And most people, myself included, live in the gap, which is the gap between achieve and ideal. So you're always comparing yourself. You're always like, nothing is ever enough, right? Or you don't celebrate your wins enough, or you're not proud enough of yourself as you should be, whatever. You're living from like lack, basically. And then there is the gain, which is from start to achieve. And you're just, me basically you're measuring backwards, which is like the only way to measure to have like a healthy perspective. From there, there's a lot of gratitude and also you're actually measuring like, wow, I have come a long way. And it is like changing my life. I know that sounds so like elementary school. There's so many other things. That's just like the, the first part of the book. Switches your mind into this upward spiral. Like, does it feel like you're still far from achieving your biggest goals? The problem is not the quantity or quality of your success and achievements. The problem is how you measure. So it's like the gap means your life is determined by someone or something external. The gain means you're living a self-determined life. And it talks about defining success for yourself and how to do that. Define success on your own terms, achieve it by your own rules, and build a life you're proud to live. And like, 
a lot of success on my end. I feel like when I was like younger was solely career focused. It's all I cared about. I'm sitting on a white rug and black pajamas and I'm gonna have this all over me it's all I cared about and then as I got older I was like okay like a successful life to me is actually like being surrounded by people that I love and being able to you know being in charge of my schedule to control my schedule so that I'm able to show up for people that I love or like celebrate them um just like small things that are actually like success to me not like owning the most crazy like successful company in the world or whatever like just creating a life that like I love and is fulfilling to me and that feels good to me instead of uh, and that's like living from the gain instead of like the gap of being like yeah I did this but like they did that better and I feel like I can do that with everything like I downplay pretty much everything that I do because I'm like well like yeah I did this but like they did that five years ago already like they've already gotten there or you know whatever like just like really downplaying like things and I just don't want to do that and I feel like with every year that I get older I'm getting better and better about doing that and I'm also caring less like I know they say when you turn 30 you like really stop caring about other people but I feel like not other people like you stop caring about them but like others opinions and whatever um and I feel like I'm definitely getting I don't know just like it, it's like less noise in my head my issue has always been like comparing myself to where I think I should be though so it's like my ideal self um I don't know if it's like out of pride or what but yeah, I don't know. The book is really helping me. Like, if you guys are anything like me, if you have anxiety, honestly, if you're breathing, you need to read this book because it is so good. Like, I'm going to go through it again and take notes and then record an entire solo podcast episode. And it's just going to be so good. Like, seriously, I, I really love it. So, anyways, that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to order maybe Hudson House for dinner and edit this vlog at home on my Friday night and get cozy. Let me show you guys. I don't want him to move. What if it's his, this is, oh, his head, his head has just been laying here the whole time. He really wants, oh, he really wants me to play with him. So I have to go play with Fitz, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you next week. Bye. Like when the summer hits, I am just so, for lack of a better word, miserable. And I was working on gaslighting myself into loving summer. And it, honestly, it was working really well until it hit about 95 degrees. And now like all of my gaslighting work on myself is, it's no longer working. 